Once I clean my room, I'm going to pack all my bags and then I'm gonna go pick up Sam. And then we are heading four hour drive to this place where there's like a, the coolest stuff ever. Like you saw in the intro, uh, just this really big things, like big chairs, big pencil, like it holds a ton of world records. So it's gonna be really cool. We're shooting a music video at this place. It's gonna be great. Our a big thing about doing music videos is whether or not the artist behind the song is cool, easy to work with, um, or someone that you're just going to be able to spend a day with for a production. So for me, I'm just really hoping that this guy is cool, uh, and I just don't know what to expect, um, and I'm just hoping for the best, because if it goes well, then that's always a win. Oh no, the gas is running out. Oh my gosh, we made it. We made it to the gas station. This is Sparta. <laughs> There's these notes in the wall, which are a little, it's a little frightening. They're right here. Oh, that can't be right. <laughs> this is so nice. Also, just remember someone that has been. So uh, yeah, the hotel is pretty cool. We're gonna set up some stuff, go to dinner. We're on our mission. Always. Always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know I was ordering 10 pounds of meat. <laughs> so uh, that was the most meat I've ever tried to consume in my entire life. When I ordered that, I did not know I was gonna be getting 10 pounds of meat. Shrimp was good. Everything else, okay. But that was the only place open. So uh, it was great. Now we're going back to our hotel, get some rest for tomorrow. But uh, the perks of doing uh, video production is you get your meals paid for, so a free meal is always a good meal. I'll see you guys tomorrow. When I went outside this morning at 6.45 a.m. to go do some little drone footage, it was 39 degrees and it was very cold. Now it's 51, still pretty chilly. Later on, it's gonna get up to 78. Um, but before that, it's going to be pretty cold, so it's the battle of shorts and pants, sweaters and shirts. So uh, we have some bad news. The world's largest Pac-Man machine is actually closed. We found out it's here, and then we also found out it's only open on Saturday and Sunday. And so it's really crushing. Why even come? That's the real question. Oh, there's also a lot of trucks, like I said. About a million trucks pass by here a second. It's really cool. But uh, we have about two hours until we shoot the music video, going to get some breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, it's
actually a little hot today. Yeah. So what kind of scene would you, what kind of attire would you want for what particular scene? So I'm, and my thought uh, as like directing this and figuring it out is also it's your song too, right? So and the way we'll shoot it is we're going to be doing, we're not, it's not going to be like, don't think in a linear order of like, the start is going to be the start of the video. Right. It's just going to be, we're shooting a bunch of great stuff and then going back to the edit and making it look okay. great. So it's like, uh, it's all the that my bet my bet my, 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 my bad. trust me I'll, I'll be 60 I'll be 68 in December the first part went great the artist uh, Koso, aka Mark, is incredible. He's super nice. Joe, the manager, super nice. SB doing a great job. I had a group of fans come in. That was really cool. Now we're moving on to the giant wheel box. Which is up there. So it's going to be fun. We're heading down now. I don't know if my vlog's gonna die. I've been filming all day. So this is, would you say technically this is your first music video? Technically, no, it's my second. Second. Now, what, are, what is the difference between doing this versus the last one? You feel this better? This one was more creative okay. and uh, I enjoyed the company. I, hey, it's been great to work with you. Got Luke and Sam uh, running the video show. Got Joe running the PR. Yes, we did. Joe's doing it great. Shout out to everybody. Every time I look, yeah, yeah, every time on. I look, Joe is out there handing out posters, which you can't get a better PR guy in the game right now, and it's incredible. And the people were extremely nice. The pe everyone here is so nice and Casey, yeah, aren't absolutely. they? Everyone's like, <laughs> everyone we've talked to is just, they're giving you hugs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm in another world. It is. Know? Well, you're, you're from Chicago, right? From Chicago. Which I would say, people in Chicago are a little less friendly than they are here. Would you agree? I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll probably get me when I get back home. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this has been a remarkable experience, a remarkable day, and I am, I'm just overwhelmed. And I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah, it's going to be great. Now we're heading to our final stop, Casey Gas Station at Casey. Oh, wow. At Casey. <laughs> Koso McWhispers, what a guy. He is just about the most nice, wonderful man in the world. Um, I, this is a, this is a uh, shoot going into, I didn't know what, you never know what you're gonna get with a music artist. Are they gonna be mean? Are they gonna be a little bit self-centered? You don't know, but Mark is pretty much the most ground to earth, down to earth, cool guy ever. Um, Joe has been absolutely great. Um, Sam has been great. Everyone has been great. And we're going to wrap early, which is always a win. Significantly early. Significantly early, which is always a win, which means we're getting home a little bit earlier than we thought. And we add an hour. 
And we've gotten home at midnight. We would have gotten home at midnight. Looks like we're not. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.